Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy and uh, really cute DIY. Uh, it's, I actually call it a uh, hand chain because it's like a little chain and it's for your hands. And it's really easy to make and really, really cheap. So what you're going to need is a chain, of course, because it's made out of chain. You can use whatever color, but I'm using a pink one. It looks like kind of brown here. But when, when you take it out, it's pink, but it's not really kind of cute. Um, but it's a really long one, so you can I can cut it and everything like that. And to cut it, of course, I need some um, chain or wire cutters. I think they're called wire cutters. Yeah, wire cutters. Uh, you're gonna need some jump rings. You need three kind of sizes of them because you never know which one you're gonna need. A, you're gonna need a big one. Um, well, you're gonna use some few of them, so uh, you're kind of gonna use a lot. Um, you're gonna also need medium one, and the little one is so little. Yeah, and look, of course, a little one. Okay, so uh, if you want to add a little decoration, you could also put little decorations about like. Look, I got little chains, but I don't know where I left them. So I'm gonna show you some other ones. You can you kind of add like a little bit of uh, rhinestones or something like that. I'm gonna add this a little rhinestone, and I'm gonna have two of these. I'm actually gonna wear it to school. I'm gonna make a little change. You could also uh, use some beads, but I think the beads are so hard. I don't know how to use it with beads. Beads. Okay. Um. Actually, I do know how. If you want to uh, know how to uh, make that, I will show you. I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna put the both on them. And a little decorations like this. I got this from an earring. It was from this earring. You could also add this if you want. Um, I, you could add this like over here on the top or whatever you want. You could even add this chain into a ring. Okay, uh, and of course you're gonna need the little closey thing. Yeah, I don't know how you call it. But if you want to learn how to do this, just stay in tune. Oh, and one, one little, um, I'm gonna add a little something, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna be doing my videos right here now, not really. Uh, I got it. I have a desk here and I'll show you it right now. So I'm gonna make the sky one. I'm sorry it's so dark in here. Right now I have some light because I'm in, I am, um, uh, I'm in front of the window. But this time it's not gonna be in front of the window, so it's gonna be kind of dark. But I have a little light there, okay? So if you want to learn how to do this, stay in tune. Okay, so you're going to get a chain. Mine's pink. I told you it's really really long um but i'm actually going to use some silver one you could use whichever color you want i found this one for a daughter in walmart but i'm going to use the silver one for this one because i do not want to waste my new one so first you gotta measure it in your finger so this is my size and then you're going to have to cut it with your um, wire cutter. It's kind of difficult sometimes, so that's what you want right now. Then you're going to get some jump rings. You're going to have to use a. Hmm. You're gonna have to use like a little small one. You could use a small one, a medium, or a big one. I'm using a small one. It's kind of difficult to uh, open the little one. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's kind of hard. hard to close it. So you're going to want to put jump ring inside the chain. Then you're going to double chain. So it could be like the size of your finger. Okay, so after that, you just want to close it and it's really difficult to close it so uh, just kind of take your time if you want to have it good so I'm just getting this cut so after you have it closed 
it's going to look something like this. It's like a little balloon ring. So after that, uh, you're, you're going to want to get another piece of chain, but you've got to measure it in your hand. See, like that. I already cut mine. Um, sorry, I didn't got that on tape. On tape. So uh, you're just gonna get a little small jump ring again. Then you're just going to apply it. Apply the jump, <laughs> the jump ring to your charm. Oh, I'm getting confused. To your. Um, Well, you're just going to apply it like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah. After that, it's going to look something like this. So when you put it on, it, it's going to look like a ring, but a little piece swingy like that, like that. So right now we have to make the little wrist kind of bracelet. I don't, I don't know how you call it. So you're just going to get another piece of, of um, Okay, so you're just going to do that with a charm or whatever you call it. I kind of forgot. So you're just going to measure it. Um, so mine is my wrist is kind of little, but just measure measure your hand or your your wrist actually. So just get a little jump ring. I'm using the medium one, but you could use a little one or a medium one. So that's how I look. it's going to look my size. So just get a medium ring. Well, I'm actually using a big one, so it won't be kind of difficult. It's kind, of, it's kind of better using a big one because it's not that difficult opening it. So you're just going to add a little charm or whatever you call it to the jump ring. Um, and after that, you're going to add the the other part. Well, actually, I closed it. So then you're going to get the little close tip or whatever you call it. I have no idea how you call it. So I'm going, it already has a little jump ring, but that one's not the color I want. So I'm just taking that one off. It's so difficult to take it off. So I'm just going to skip this part. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so after that, I already took the little jump ring off and I'm going to use one of mine because I want to use a gold one. You color gold, not real gold. Okay, so I'm just going to open my small jump ring and then apply the little charm to it. I mean, not the charm, apply the little close and open thingy for the like kind of bracelet theme. And then you're going to add the little bracelet that we made. Sometimes it's kind of hard when you have it with the pliers or whatever you call that. Okay, so after that, this is how it's going to look. And then you're going, then you, then you want to do a little, you want to put a jump ring on the other side and it's going to close perfectly. Sometimes I have a problems closing it and opening it. Um, so I can't fit it into my hand like that, so I just gotta close it and open it. So then you're going to get another jump ring and add, add it to the other one that we do with a finger. Um, and we're going to uh, apply that one there. And then we're going to add that one to the middle of the of the bracelet that we made. Let's do that to the middle. So after you do that, you just want to close it. Um, so. Uh, yeah, just close that and it is difficult to close when you have like two charms on, on them. Okay, so after that, uh, you're, you're done. But if you want to add a little decoration, you could actually add some beads or whatever you want to add. I'm going to add also a little bright stone. Right now I'm not going to uh, use it, but I'm going to add some little a little bright stone. And right now I'll show you how to make it with the bead. But you're going to use a jump ring, and then you're going you're going to get your little thing they want to add as decoration, and just add that in the in the jump ring, and just keep on watching if you want to know how. 
Okay, so just apply the little jump ring into your little rhinestone that you want to use in. And it is kind of hard because the rhinestone could be a little bit, little, little, little. <laughs> little. Okay, so yeah, I already applied that one. If you want to learn how to add a bead, um, you're going to get whichever bead that you want. Then just get a jump ring. Well, I'm actually adding this one. And yeah, it's like a little, little pattern of little beads. So just get a jump ring, open it up, then cut the little beads in there. And then just do it, do it how we did in the other one, but with the beads. So keep on watching this one. Okay, so just keep on repeating that that thing that we did right now that we're doing and just put whichever decoration you want you can even put some little charms and they'll look so cute i already tried that and yeah i tried that with other ones that i had made so yeah um i i'm just putting that one in with a jump ring and then I'm, i think this time i'm doing okay this time I'm just applying the little thing that I did with the jump ring and applying it to the little um, charm hand or whatever you call it, hand charm. Okay, so this time I'm adding the one with the bead and the beaded one is kind of difficult because you gotta get it inside the jump ring and then apply it to the charm. So uh, if you want to see how it goes, just keep on watching this video and yeah. Oh, sorry for that. Okay, you just want to repeat that step with uh, all of the little decorations that you want to add uh, on it. And this is kind of difficult. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so after that, you just want to keep on putting those little charms that you want to add on your little decoration. So this is how the bead uh, looks like. So I'm going to show you how it looks, me um, trying it on. Okay, so uh, this is a finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This one's the one that I just did right now and I think I like this one better than the other one that I did a while ago. So you could wear this anywhere. I'm going to wear it I'm going to make more so I could wear these at school. When well, it's still summer, I know, but when I go to fourth grade, I'm gonna make a little change. I use more accessories. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys next time I make a video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and please like to um, yeah, just just like to this video and. Uh, Leave me a comment below if you have a question, and just and also leave me a comment below to tell me what you want me to do for a DIY next time. And yeah, thanks for watching. Ta -da.